Hi, you're watching the Tropics Topics of June 1st, 2019. Today is the very first day of the 2019 Atlantic hurricane season. And right on schedule, we do have something to talk about. This is Invest 91L here in the Bay of Campeche, given a 40% chance of development in the next 48 hours and a 50% chance of development in the next five days as this thing will meander in the Bay of Campeche and eventually move off towards the west. Where exactly, it's still a bit unknown. Uh, but that's what we're going to be discussing in this video. But first of all, let's take a look at the satellite imagery. Uh, this is the sector coming out of the Yucatan Peninsula. And you can see here's our um, system right here. Still pretty broad, still pretty disorganized. Last, uh, It was designated yesterday as a pretty large area of convection <coughs> over the Yucatan Peninsula right here. And this whole mass of thunderstorm activity basically just translated westward over the Bay of Campeche now and is now basically just a very broad area of rotation and this is going to probably consolidate over the next few days as this thing doesn't really move a whole lot and we'll just kind of sit here for probably until the end of the weekend before beginning to move off back towards the west towards this portion of Mexico right here. You can see it's still, like I said, pretty broad, pretty disorganized, but there's some rotation right here. If we look at uh, the ASCAP pass from last night, we can see there is a bit of a, a little bit of rotation right here, a little bit of a kink to the flow, a kink in the westerly flow right here that's causing this whole thing to rotate right here. Here's the upper level uh, water vapor shot right here, and you can see kind of why this thing is able to, I guess, have this much organization already. It's still broad, but it is relatively organized for this early in the game. You can see that there is, you can see that the outflow run here is pretty cyclonic, um, or really anti-cyclonic, I should say. Um, and this is indicative that there is a very strong upper level ridge, which is allowing for outflow to persist quite heavily. And that is present here. Um, in this uh, GFS initialization, you can see here, uh, this coming from Tropical Tidbits, by the way, you can see how uh, the air around here is rotating anticyclonically over this portion of the Bay of Campeche, which is where our invest is located right here, 91L. And this is a favorable environment for the time being because this means that shear is low, that upper divergence is high, which allows for convection to really flourish. And it also means that some of this dry air that you can see pretty much surrounding this thing on all sides is kind of staying away from the main core of the system. Now, as this thing continues to progress onwards, the main question is, where does it go? Usually with Bay of storms, it's pretty straightforward as to what's going to happen. It's either going to move straight west into Mexico or straight northwest into, well, Mexico. Uh... There's a bit of a fly in the ointment here with the tracking of this, and it's not particularly huge, but it is something that may have to be monitored for some, um, both in Mexico, obviously, and maybe even some in the Northwest Gulf, including states like Texas and Louisiana, potentially. Uh, if we go back to the GFS, this is going to be, let me just go back towards the beginning. This is the initialization of the run here. You can see that we have this ridge located out here over the Gulf of Mexico, and that is what allowed... 91L to move from the Yucatan Peninsula westward into the Bay of Campeche right here. And we also have this pretty strong upper trough right here located just south of California and just off the northern Baja California Peninsula. These two features are going to be acting to steer 91L. Um, the bridge is going to be the short-term feature uh, and the trough may potentially be a long-term feature. We'll have to wait and see on exactly how much it will be a player, but again, we'll see on that. You can see the core of the ridge right here is centered over here in the southern gulf. So now that the um, our invest here has moved further off towards the west, it's not able to be steered by this as much as you can see here in the model. You can see that the ridge does amplify here as we get into tomorrow night, but there's not but there's not really a whole lot to move our little system right here, even though this ridge is still pretty amplified in this area. Uh, you can see here here we are on Tuesday. At this point, the model has our invest moving onshore around Veracruz, um, at least the Mexican state of Veracruz, um, Tuesday afternoon. And you can see this ridge right here strengthens even more around the Yucatan Channel and the southern gulf, while this cutoff low right here, it's essentially a cutoff low, moves eastward and moves into Arizona and northern Mexico. Uh, here's Wednesday morning. By this point, the model has a system onshore, uh, but the ridge right here is back, has moved a little bit farther to the north and has weakened while this trough out here has 
continued to move east and is moving in towards the Concho Valley of Texas. And at this point, this is when some moisture from any from whatever is down here at this point, it could be a tropical storm, it could be just a disturbance still, anything that comes from this could potentially be progressed northward. As you can see, the ridge out here is allowing for some northward flow on the west side, and this trough is allowing for uh, northerly flow on the east side. So this would cause any moisture down here to flow northward into this portion of Texas and could bring them some pretty unwelcome rain at this point. Uh, the you can see here by uh, Wednesday night, the trough moves out into West Texas. The ridge kind of stays here, while anything left of the invest is kind of just sitting on shore right now, not really doing much of anything, with just some remnant low pressure right here, but not actually anything significant. The European, however, is more aggressive in wanting to develop this system. I'll show you the vorticity um, run in just a bit. Here's the initialization, still kind of generally the same thing. The ridge out here is centered over the Florida Straits, and the trough out here is centered just south of California. Everything moves along, and you can see that there's more lower pressure right here just along the coastline of uh, the state of Veracruz. And as this trough continues to progress westward, it is a little bit farther south, and this ridge is kind of in the slightly farther north. And this slight variation will mean a lot because it really is more dependent on where the surface flow associated with 90L wants to develop. If it develops a bit farther north, it may have more of a chance to engage in this interaction. If it forms farther south, then it's likely just to move straight west of Mexico and be very short-lived. But either way, this is the European solution showing that it is going to be a bit farther toward the north. And even this model here has the our, our low center over the Contra Valley of Texas and then our um, our ridge right here, just center north of the Yucatan Peninsula, and here's where 91L would be at this point. Now, I'll show you in the um, in the vorticity run in just a bit where exactly the storm is, um, and then here's a Thursday night, the the low essentially located directly over Texas, and then whatever is left of the invest is actually right here, moving to the northeast into Louisiana, while this ridge starts to kind of a retrograde a little bit off towards the west. You can see that here. It then centers, centers itself over southeast, over southern Texas, and then anything left of 91L is done. So here is the vorticity run I was telling you about. This is from the European model. From This is from Weather Nerds, a great source if you ever get the chance to use it. This is what the model is saying right now. So here's what, it would, what it's saying. Um, this is going to be tomorrow night you can see it there's a there's some rotation here but you can see it's centered really on land and this is going to be the main inhibitance to this thing's development is proximity to land because as we saw earlier with the water vapor shot pretty favorable conditions surrounding this especially for something forming on literally the very first day of june so it's in a favorable environment but it just needs to stay away from land if it wants to develop even more now here's what I was referring to. You can see it's on land, but then it comes northward. You see a little bit of a rotation start to get developing in here. Uh, this probably isn't a tropical cyclone just yet, but it's probably pretty darn close. And this is going to be Monday night here. Here's Tuesday night. Actually becomes a bona fide depression or weak tropical storm. Moves inland just north uh, in the state of Tamaulipas, but then because of this trough interaction that I was mentioning earlier right here this would be the same general time frame right here here's our system here's the trough as we progress out into time you're going to see that this is going to move off towards the north and east and move offshore again here's the next position this is wednesday night and see it's just south of the rio grande valley here still on the northern mexican coastline and then here's our system right here thursday night just off the texas coast moving off towards the northeast and then eventually moves into louisiana as a remnant trough on this run this isn't actually a tropical storm right here this is just the remnants but either way this is going to bring some pretty heavy rainfall in this area the gfs isn't as we said it wasn't as robust with the system so rainfall here isn't quite as high but the european model is quite the opposite pretty high rainfall total is predicted in this area possibly a foot to two feet of rain and for this area of the world um that would be anywhere I'd be between about 300 and 600 millimeters of rainfall coming to this area of the world. And this would be just in accordance with this system right here moving off towards the north. And then we'll have to see on how, on how this interaction exactly evolves with this coming trough. But it's likely that anything that does happen, if anything, it won't bring any direct impacts to Texas. It'll just bring up some remnant moisture and nothing more significant than that. If there were to be a tropical cyclone to develop, it would be down in this portion of the world right here and likely would not be very strong or long-lived just because of its proximity to the land and all the steering interactions that we've just discussed. 
Okay, so that's the situation here with 91L. Uh, this would be this would be the second name system of the year if this were to develop. The next name on the list is Barry. We had Andrea form out here in the Western Atlantic uh, during the later half of May, and um, so that's essentially it on 91L. Uh, we'll have more updates here just in case the system decides to get more organized or if the forecast changes or anything like that. So stay tuned here for the latest information on Invest 91L and all things Tropics related. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to stay weather alert.